Hi, okay, so um, I just wanted to make a really quick mention. I did not mention the translators of all these, but there's so many of them, and I'm really lazy. If you want to know, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, but there's just so many of them. Um, I apologize. <laughs> so then after, so last place I was talking about was Prague. After Prague, we went to Vienna. And again, I got another little black classic, um, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, My Dearest Father. This is number 51. These are letters that um, Mozart wrote to his dad. And I'll tell you, this is translated by Stuart Spencer. And then I also got um, Chess by Stefan Zweig. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I guess is, like, really popular. Um, she said that he's, like, a contemporary of Kafka. Um, so, yes, let me see if I can find who this is translated by. Athena Bell translated this one. And then I also got Daniel Kalman's Fame, uh, translated by Carol Brown Janeway. Um, I got these all in Vienna. The bookseller recommended all three of them to me, and I picked this one up, but this is actually by a German author. I'm pretty positive. But I realized that when I was reading, it doesn't really talk about the author. Mm, yeah, he was born in Munich, so he's actually German, unless he transferred, which he might have done. And they speak the same language, so I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then after Vienna, I did go to Germany. I guess I didn't buy anything in Germany. I'm just trying to lose my mind. Um... So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then we went to, oh, I did, I did. I'm just, I've misplaced them. Oh, here they are, okay. So I bought um, Herta Mueller's The Appointment. Um, so she is a German author. Um, and this is translated by Michael Hulse and Philip Bohm. <coughs> Bohm, excuse me. And then after Germany, we went to uh, the Netherlands. We stayed with a family friend in Harlem, and we stayed, or we like went to Amsterdam. And when we were in Amsterdam, I got *The Black Lake* by Hella Haas, Hasse, Haas. Um, and yeah, she is a Dutch author, and this is translated by Ina Rilke. Rilke, I can't pronounce it. It's right there in case you're wondering and after that we went to Belgium um, I got this book in Bruges in Belgium it's The Angel Maker by Stefan Bridges Bridges I don't know I guess he's probably oh yeah this was written in Dutch originally too because uh, they speak Dutch in parts he's from Flanders um, so this is translated from Dutch by Hester Velmans um, and this is like, I think, some kind of mystery thriller type thing. And then after that, we went to Paris. And <coughs> I went to Shakespeare. <coughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I went to Shakespeare and Company. So I purchased um, Co uh, Colette's The Pure and the Impure, which I guess is like a sexy book, kind of. Um, and this is translated by Herma. Fault and introduced by Judith Thurman. Um, and then I was basically only bookshopped at Shakespeare and Company while I was in Paris. I got Bonjour Tristesse by Francoise Sagan. Um, I feel like I heard someone on BookTube talk about this recently and they did not like it very much, but hopefully it's okay. Um, and this is translated by Heather Lloyd. I am really sorry. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now. <coughs> And then also, this is not, uh, this is not French, but it was one of, like, a Shakespeare company, they have, like, bans on some of the books, same like that they recommend these books. So this is Satan Tango, or Satan Tango, I don't know, um, by Laszlo Krasnohorkai. <clears throat> I cannot pronounce whatever language, translated from Hungarian, oh, Hungarian, cool, by George Sturz, I should, <laughs> um, okay, so then afterwards, problems happened, uh, me and Chelsea went to the UK, and in the UK, we met many a person, 
many booktubers. I kind of want to like talk about it a little bit in a separate video um, about all the booktubers that I met and how exciting it was. So I'm just going to talk about the books that I bought. But basically, um, I was I was very naughty in the UK. Um, I I'm just going to go and bring. I, they're just in a pile because I have I don't want to take the time to uh, you know order in the order that I got them. Um, but I got the New Sorrows of Young W by Ulrich Plinsdorf, which is a Pushkin Press. I think these are so cute. Um, and it was translated by Romy Fer Fersland. Um, he is a German author, and it takes place in Berlin. <clears throat> I also got uh, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams, uh, which is the second in the Hitchhikers series. And I read this, and oh my gosh, it was so funny. Um, then also I got... The Passion by Jeanette Winterson. Um, I got The Age of Reason by Jean-Paul Sartre. Sartre. I don't know. Um, I think. I guess he's French, probably. Yes. Founder of French existentialism. Um, translated by Eric Sutton. And this was actually a recommendation from one of the booktubers that I met, Sarah, who I guess I'm mentioning her now, Sarah. Uh, I'll link her channel below. Um, she was amazing, but I'll talk about that later. Um, I also got The Love Boat and Other Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I mentioned that I'm currently reading in a previous video. I'm still reading it. Uh, and then me and Chelsea went to a uh, used bookstore, um, and I got a, a couple used books. This is Some Country Houses and Their Owners by James Lees Milne, and it's English Journeys. So it's kind of like another little penguin, like special ones that they come out with. And I also got The Congo and the Cameroons by Mary Kingsley, which is one of the great journeys. So it's another similar type. And I also got this tiny little copy of Dream Tales and Prose Poems by Ivan Tur Turgenev. Turgenev? I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like really tiny and cute. And it has like the name of whoever had it um, before. So I thought that was really awesome when I picked it up. And then um, I went also to use bookstores with Claire from the Book Fox, and I got a few um, from there as well. I got two by Muriel Spark, The Go Away Bird and Other Stories, which also has writing on it, but like the person wrote their name on the outside and on the inside, which I think is hilarious. They're very specific. And I also got The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, which, um, oh my gosh, Claire said was like the one that she read of her that she really enjoyed. Um, and then also I got The Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay. Oh my gosh. Uh, at some point I went to Persephone with, um, most of these books I did buy with Elena from Ellen Reads Books. Um, we went to Persephone and it was like, oh, one for 12 or three for 10 each. So I got three. Um, I got Tea with Mr. Rochester by Frances Towers. And this is the cute little end paper. And then The Blank Wall by Elizabeth Sangze Holding. I don't know why I'm showing you the cover. They all look the same. This is the end paper for that one. Oh, I got two bookmarks. And then Someone at a Distance by Dorothy Whipple. This is the last one that I got. And this is the end paper. I accidentally picked up the wrong bookmark for... I think for this one. Yeah, because it's missing. I must have hidden it somewhere. Um, and then I also got the Persephone catalog because these were free. So oh, I put it in here. Um, me and Chelsea also went to the British Library the first day that we were in uh, London. And I picked up A Scream in Soho by John G. Brandon, which is one of the British Library crime classics. They have a bunch of these. Um, this was okay. I'll talk about it later. Um, and then... Ulrich Allen also I got um, Solace by Gail Carriker. This was um, like a while ago I decided to do the booktube recommends project like oh 12 booktubers 12 books one year. I've only read one of them and it's uh, almost the end of August so this was the other one uh, another one that Michael from Bitten by Radioactive Book uh, suggested to me. I feel like it's a pretty quick easy read so I want to do that soon and then I also picked up two volumes one and <laughs> volumes one and two um which were great and then also when I was with Sarah who I mentioned previously 
Uh, we went to a bookstore with Chelsea called Dots Bookstore, which I'll talk about later because, oh my gosh, it was amazing. But they have, their bookstore is like laid out geographically. And um, I picked up this book, um, Audition by Ru Murakami. I saw the movie that this book is based on and it was so sick and I cannot wait to read this. Like, I really want to read it so bad. And also, um, she suggested to uh, me and Chelsea We by... Evgeny Zamyatin, which I guess is like a dystopian type, um, and this is translated uh, Natasha Randall, maybe? Cool. Yeah, Natasha Randall translated this one. And then um, there's, oh no, uh, I'm sorry guys, this was going to be a little long, but I don't have that many more books left, so I don't want to break it up. Um, I have three books, I cannot remember where I bought them, but I got um, We Shall Be Feminists by Chomaj and Gozi Adiche, um, How to Be Both by Ali Smith, and The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And then uh, when I was with Jake, I had already, as you can tell, gone a little ballistic, so I only got four more books. I got, we, we went to... Um, Germany, we went to Italy, we went to France, and I went to Dublin, so I got one book in each country. And I loved Fame by Daniel Kelman so much that I got another book by him, um, F, a novel. And then when we were in Naples, I got this book at this crazy bookstore. Um, I have not read anything by Dickens, but I got this anyways, um, Impressione di Napoli, which is, um, by Charles Dickens, it's his impressions of Napoli, and it has, uh, in Italian and in English. So I can read both Italian and English, which is really exciting. And then we went to Shakespeare and Company again, because <laughs> I love it. And I was um, overwhelmed by all the books. I think I mentioned this when I was talking about this book that I was reading it, um, but I got The Wall Creeper by Nelt Zink, which was recommended to me. Um, I just finished this a couple days ago. And it, was, it was good, it was okay. And then Jake bought, and I'm stealing, uh, Shakespeare and Company. And, some kind of an, it's by it's written by the lady who founded um, Shakespeare and Company. It talks about kind of like back in the day, so um, yeah, kind of like what was happening at the time when she opened it. And then we went to Dublin, and while we were walking around, delusional because we only slept one hour the night before, we were walking and we saw this like big open kind of not open but it was like closed but you know like little stalls of people selling things and one of the stalls was selling books and I was looking at the books and then all of a sudden I saw all of these what are they called folio books so I got a folio I got um Jerome K. Jerome's Three Men and a Boat and it is so beautiful it's so pretty there's like um pictures inside so, um, yeah, I am really, really excited about this. And that is all I have to show you. Um, I'm going to do reviews on the books that I've read. Um, I'm probably just going to do one giveaway for the whole time that I was gone because I have no job and no money right now. Boop, boop, boop. And um, if you have read any of these, if you have any input at all, please let me know. I'm down to buddy read anything if you want. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry this one was a little bit long. Uh, Next video, short, I promise. <laughs>